Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. This is Eric, and today, introducing Home Run Derby X. Uh, shout out to John Miller for emailing me about this. I had no clue about it. I woke up this morning, saw in my email inbox, talking about any interest in this, Home Run Derby X. And uh, an interesting concept right here. I don't know how much hype it's going to get. I know they're trying to hype it up. They got a video. They got graphics. They got, you know, just uh, uh, already a lot of uh, content on this event. And a lot of the names have already been announced, and we're going to talk about that, of who is going to be participating in this event and what this event actually is. It doesn't involve current Major League players, which is kind of cool. But as I read about the event I'm going to get into, there's some things I don't really like about it. I think it's a little too wild. I know they tried to make it as wild as possible. There's some things I like about it. There's some things that just are a little bit too over the top for me and some things I just don't like, period. But the crazy thing is there is a group of people that are participating in this event that I belong to. The Giants are not a team participating. Even if they were, I don't think they would have ever got invited me. But technically, I could have been in this event. How crazy is that? So let's get into the details of this Home Run Derby X right here. And I probably need to start training for future seasons just in case, you know, because you never know. They're actually invo inviting content creators. Home Run Derby X, every child knows you only need a few things to play baseball, a, a bat, a ball, and some fielders to chase everything. Although I used to play with just a bat and the ball. Hit the ball as far as I can, go get it, come back, hit it as far as I can again. And I used to check out all the books and everything, the science of hitting, try to maximize my power, generate as much pop as I can, and that's why I could hit the ball a long way from an early age. The rest of my game maybe needed some help, but as far as just power hitting, I had it down. But anyway, yeah, we used to play with all these crazy rules, obviously, as a kid, you know, ghost runners and things like that, which of course is now part of Major League Baseball. But don't get me started on that. How, how insane is that? How insane is that? Oh my God, I can't think about it. So that's the spirit in which Major League Baseball has just announced its brand new global bracket style competition, Home Run Derby X, inspired by the success of MLB's Home Run Derby. And the four teams represented are the Red Sox, Yankees, Dodgers. What's next in this pattern? Wait, Red Sox, Yankees, rivalry, Dodgers, <gasps> Jack Cubs. No Giants this year. If there were, I wonder who that content creator would be. I don't know the answer to that, but here's how it breaks down. So they're going to participate in, and we're going to talk about all who, who the four, because there's four different groups of people that are going to be involved in this. And the field of play, the, first of all, it's all wacky. You got home plate mounted on a stage. You got the pitcher's mount elevated on a podium. These are the focal points of action. And they're going to be treated as such. Field of play is smaller. Okay, smaller dimensions. Okay, I get it because they're not active big leaguers. Um, okay, you know, you want the content creators to be able to hit some bombs, although um, I would have preferred just regular size because I'm, I'm going for it. I know I can hit balls out of a normal size uh, stadium, but I understand that. But what's weird is look at this, look at this field. It's like at a 45 degree angle from home plate. It's like a little, you got to hit it just dead center field practically. You hit it to straightaway left, straightaway right, it's a foul ball. That is just weird, and I hate that. Overall, um, I like using the lines. So I would hate hit taking uh, a home run derby where I can't use the entire field. Um, this is just really weird. And then uh, gameplay gets a little more intense. Um, beyond swinging from a mounted batter's box, hitters will get to swing at 25 pitches and take up to 10 of them. So you, hope, you better have a good pitcher because you can't just take as many pitches as you want. Um, they'll be swinging for the fences like in a traditional derby. But if you ever played MVP 2005 mini games, you'll be a little familiar with what's next. Batters can earn points by hitting targets. There are two of them placed 160 feet from home plate. It'd just be pure luck if I hit a target or if anyone hits a target, they're probably just going for home runs. And the opposition will have players in the outfield. This I like, the op that you get to play the outfield. If you catch a ball, you get a point too. You earn points by catching balls that your opponent hits. That's pretty awesome. I like that about it. Um, but I hate this 45-degree angle crap. Uh, <laughs> and teams will also get a point for every home run target or a catch. But players can also call for a hot streak. Hot streak! That will allow teams to double their points following five pitches. It's going to be really crazy. You know, people are going to watch this just, and that's why they made it so crazy. Because nobody's, you know, well, some people will watch because there are some names in this derby, as I'll get to. But most people are going to prefer to watch their, their, their actual current major leaguers. But because they made it so wacky, people are going to just watch out of curiosity. The teams, again, Red Sox, Yankees, Dodgers, unfortunately, not Giants, Cubs. Each team's going to feature a former player. Ooh, a softball or women's superstar or baseball star. Um, a player from the region's local development system, so a rookie. Or maybe a, a player from 
the where they're playing i'm not really sure like maybe if it's in korea oh yeah somebody from the korean system okay maybe it's that i'm not really sure but anyway and then an influential content creator yes a content creator what that's insane and uh, we're going to find out here. Johnny Gomes is going to be uh, taking part. So let's check out the teams right here. Now, again, I, I if the Giants were in this, first of all, I would have already been, you know, if, if I was to be invited, which I wouldn't have been invited. I uh, probably would have known months ago. I'm sure they've known for a long time. But super interesting. I, I don't think they would have invited me, but uh, I think that I would have been uh, – I think I would hit. I, actually, I don't know if I'd hit any home runs because you got to aim for dead center field. Obviously, that's where you have to just aim for. Um, try to hit the ball fair, but that's just not my normal swing. So, and, and you know what? I don't even know if I would accept in this situation because all this travel. I mean, I love traveling, but I kind of like traveling by myself. I kind of have some PTSD from the army. I feel like you're traveling, you know, to all these places. There's a wake up time. You got to be here. You got press conference at this time. You got, you know, great breakfast at this time. You got to be here at this time. You're know, moving around. Uh, you got, you're in the motel. You're paid for, and, and, and you're kind of on a their time, their their time schedule. And I got a little PTSD from that. So uh, I'm sure they wouldn't be as uh, psycho as some of the sergeants in the army. I don't think they're coming banging trash cans to wake me up, but still, um, actually sounds a little stressful but if it was just like a standard home run derby like in milwaukee or los angeles the, the all-star game and you go participate oh yeah hell yeah i'd be all in but anyway these are the uh uh these are what i'm interesting is interested in mostly is the mlb legends and the wild cards the uh the, the content creators you have johnny gomes for the red sox geo soto for the cubs Adrian Gonzalez, oh my God, he's going to he's just going to get up there and just hit bomb after bomb. He, dude, dude is still young. Nick Swisher for the Yankees. All these guys are, are relatively young, actually. I mean, uh, Johnny Gomes might be the older. Giovanni Soto, he play, he was playing not not long ago. Adrian Gonzalez as well. Yeah, these guys are just going to go up there and just rake. Um, and uh, actually, the rookies ha are, are being announced soon. So these are the superstar of the women's players. Uh, I didn't realize that when I was reading them. Alex Hugo, that's what it is. These are the women. And then you have the wild card. And uh, honestly, Liv Cook, Spencer Owen, Yungi Kwok, and Daniel Corral. I, I don't know who these, I never heard of any of them. Um, I'm supposed to have heard of these people, right? Let's check it out here. If I click on them, what do they have? Okay, he's an Instagrammer. Oh, oh she's an Instagrammer, sorry. Um... Okay, what about Spencer Owen? He's all, it's all, it's just, okay, these are Instagrammers. I'm, I'm sure they have YouTube pages too. But I, uh, 1.3 million followers. Yeah, they're going big. They're going big. Yeah, these are, these are more, yeah, these aren't just YouTubers. I, I, that would be awesome though, you know, but I think that they're going for the big giant Instagram, big personalities, not the real baseball lovers who actually talk baseball and can play um but maybe i'm wrong i, I don't know no, no, shout out to these people and, and congratulations to them but uh come on now let's go where is boston red sox where is my boy robbie hyde should be there robbie hyde should be there where is d mac in this dodgers home run derby let's go uh but y'all have a fantastic one um to be honest, I, I would probably decline, believe it or not, maybe not. Maybe it's just too big of an opportunity to turn down. But uh, if they ask me, I, I really don't like this 45 degree crap. And I really feel like this would be a stressful uh, experience other than just being on the field. Because that's really what it's all about, being on the field and hitting. And even that, with this 45 degree weird podium, I don't think I would do well. I think I might embarrass myself because that's just uncomfortable and weird. And I'm just not into uncomfortable, weird stuff. I just want to play normal baseball. I'm home and derby is fine. But can I get a normal field, a normal pitcher's mound, a normal batter's box? Is that too much to ask? In this case, yes. You guys have a great day. Let me know what you think of the home and derby X. I think it's a little bit out there for me. But it's all in good fun. But the thing is, some of this stuff, the Ghost Runners, has crept its way into actual Major League Baseball games. So I don't want them to get any weird ideas. Uh, so I'm not I'm not so sure myself. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Because if they get some weird ideas, they'll bring that crap into Major League Baseball. They'll bring that crap into the real games. Otherwise, I'm like, hey, it's all in good fun. But hey, watch here. In 10 years from now, we get, we're playing at a little freaking skinny little 45-degree angle field. Oh, my God. Who knows what the hell they'll do. You guys have a great day. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and we'll talk to you next time. Damage control, straight to the hole. I got no chance of ever making